tiny bunches. So that cookbook that I mentioned that I'm doing um, in the previous video, I well my brother is proofreading it and then I'll be sending it off to the um, publishers after I've done a few final tweaks and so hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be with you end of next week and then I will be back in the YouTube usual routine of minimum of two videos a week. So sorry for the hiatus that is continuing even though I'm not trying it for it to be that way. Anyway, uh, on with the food which includes a lot of cookbook food. So I had two slices of my classic one bowl banana bread. Um, they're thick slices because I have included this recipe in the cookbook just because I can't be bothered going to my blog every time I want to make it. So it's for very selfish reasons. Um, so I had two slices of that toasted with a bit of vegan butter. Then at about 9.30 after I like got dressed, um, walked the dog, done some things, um, who was then in a walk coma or just asleep, had a cup of tea, some soy milk. And about 11.30 I was feeling that, you know, snacking phenomena coming on where you're sort of procrastinating about making lunch or thinking about it. So I had half avocado that was chilled, the best way to have it. It was super ripe, super good. And then I had a bowl, kind of just a, a few bites of this cornflake honey but veganized like sort of retro 70s woman weekly magazine-esque um slice which is really good tastes like an anzac biscuit but it's not like time of year specific and now here's a little sneak peek this is the only other recipe that is on the blog i just i make it so often love it so much i want to have it in printed copy that's still a sneak peek at the front cover um but the rest of the recipes 30 of them are brand new including this one which i didn't have all the ingredients for but it's like a seaside spaghetti a veganized version of this salmon and zucchini pasta we had growing up a lot it's really seafoodish, but not in a weird way in a vegetable fully way and the real deal does look a lot better than that as i said we were kind of lacking in zucchinis and a lot of the main ingredients but that was super good okay so my grandparents were coming over for dinner um to help celebrate my birthday so we had some chips beforehand and then we had these mediterranean stuff eggplants which are in the cookbook and these are really handy because they're like a main dish component they're meaty but um just full of veg and satisfying to meat eaters then we also had this chopped salad which is really herby and has lots of great veg in it and i this is in the cookbook just because i make it so often and it's generally a hit with everyone they're like mm, this is delish even when they're salad skeptics so that was main course i think i had some like turmeric carrot kombucha with that and then for our dessert i made this chocolate self-sourcing pudding that's gluten-free and vegan in the cookbook possibly my favorite recipe because well i've forgotten how much i like chocolate self-sourcing pudding it's really really easy so saucy and just taste of childhood delicious super moist lovely cake great sauce and a slightly crunchy top so we had that with a bit of like koyo whipped cream and some chopped strawberries and that was a really great birthday dinner um that's everything honey bunches thank you for watching and as i said look out for the cookbook end of next week and i will see you in regular videos from then on okay have a great week Bye bye